Hey guys, Matt here from mksmarthouse.com and in this video I'm going to give you a demo of the blinds control we will be creating. So what is this blinds control exactly? Well it is a device that receives commands from our open app server through MQTT and moves the blinds. This is a cool device that removes one thing to do on my list in the morning and at night as now my blinds automatically open and close at the times I set. Also, it is just really awesome being able to control your blinds from your phone from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. If I pull out a mobile device and open up the OpenHab app, you can see that I now have two controls in the JK room frame. These two controls control the same item, but there are two ways you can control it. The first way is through the three buttons. Currently, the blinds are in the closed position. If I press open, then the blinds go to the open position. Then, when I press the half button, the blinds go to the half position. You guessed it, if I press the close button, then the blinds go to the closed position. My personal favorite control is the slider, and I like it because wherever I put the slider, the blinds go to that position. The positions are 1 to 100. Since we are on the topic of controlling with OpenHab, I have written two rules in the rules file. One to automatically open the blinds at 7am, and one to close the blinds at 6pm. When we write the rules, I will show you how to set your own custom times. Since we previously connected the Amazon Echo to our OpenAB server, we can also control the blinds using it. Alexa, set JK blinds to zero. Okay. Alexa, set JK blinds to 56. Okay. The way you tell Alexa to control it is by using item name, then set, and a number 1 to 100. The same thing goes with Siri. Set JK blinds to 100. Okay, I set the JK blinds to 100%. If you would like to control your blinds and be ready for the hardware video where I show you how to make it, then you can order a kit with all the parts from my shop over at mksmarthouse.com shop. As you may have noticed all over this video, I have used the words JK blinds. That is because those are the initials of the person whose room the blinds are in. If you called it just blinds and have many of them, Alexa and Siri will get confused. When I show you how to make the blinds control, we will be using the item name MK blinds. If we take a look at the blinds, there are only two visual differences between these blinds and normal blinds. The first thing is that I've removed the original mechanism that is used to tilt the blinds by hand. It was removed because when the servo is in, you really cannot move the shaft of the blinds. You will understand it better when I show you inside. The second thing is that there is a wire coming out from the blinds and into a power outlet. This is just a 5 volt power line. All the components are nicely housed inside the blinds. So let me remove the blinds and show you inside. With these blinds, the best outlet was to the left of the blinds, so I kept the control box and the servo motor together. When I show you how to make this, I will do it just a little bit different and put the control box on the right side because in my room, the best outlet is to the right of the blinds. Anyway, going from right to left, we have the servo motor with some 3D printed parts. The first 3D printed part is the servo to blinds adapter. What this does is allow the servo motor to attach onto the shaft of the blinds. Then the servo motor is sitting on a height adjustable mount. The reason it is height adjustable is because there are many different blinds with different heights between the shaft and the bottom of the blinds raceway. For example, my blinds in my room have a different height than the ones in the office. I will provide you the files so you can 3D print these parts at home. If you do not have a 3D printer, then you can buy the parts from my shop at mksmarthouse.com shop. Moving on, the servo motor is then connected to the control box, which is also connected to power. If we take a look inside the control box, we will find the PCB with its components. I would just like to note that this blinds control will work on most blinds as long as you have a space for the servo motor in the top of them. That's it. That is the entire device. In the next video, I will show you all the hardware we will need and how to put it together. If you want to be ready for the hardware video, you can buy a kit, the PCB, or 3D printed parts to make the device at the link in the video description. Alright, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below or head over to mksmarthouse.com forum. Goodbye.